Well, hello, Capricorn. I'm back with the weekly reading. We are in the week of April 10th through 16th. Hope you're amazing. So, Capricorn, let's see what we have for this week. We're going to do some oracle cards first. Woman holding a heart is where we start. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, with this card, um, it feels like there's some emotional struggle here. This could be like a separation, a breakup, or just some tough energy in love, you know? Um, it's one of those things where you're kind of still holding on, wishing for the best, Um but also accepting the situation as he is. I, I feel like um, it's more like stages of acceptance that I'm feeling from this card, right? Um, it's like I'm accepting what is happening and I'm integrating it into what's real right now, you know, and not looking at what I want to see or how I want things to be, but actually what they are. We have friends and colleagues is the next card. Um, yeah, also spending a lot of time around people that fit you well, you know, co-workers. You may be going out on little work, work dates with co-workers, um, but this is also reestablishing a sense of friendship with people that you have known before or people that you haven't really gotten to know that well. Building friendships is what I'm seeing here. Uh, growing, um, putting people around you that work well with you or make you feel good. And then we have Eagle Medicine as the lesson for this week. And it, it's a sense of understanding. It's, it's a sense of clarity and understanding about what you need in your life, the type of people, type of situations that you want in your life. It, it, it allows things to move um, correctly, I guess you can say, for your best good, okay? Um, your highest and best good. So that's what I'm seeing here with these cards at the moment. Capricorn, it could be that you are reestablishing some sort of friendship with a loved one, a, a, a intimate partner, um, so you can better make a decision this week, or like reevaluating a connection, you know. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. The world, Ace of Swords, Knight of Rods, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. On the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups and the Chariot. Um... There's a lot of reversals here. I want to talk about the major arcana first. I, usually I stray towards them. So we have the world and the, the, I'm sorry, not the ace of cups, the world and the chariot here. So what I'm seeing this week is there has been an issue, I feel like, with connecting uh, and being confused with, with what it is that you're connecting with, you know? Um, the, let me explain. So <laughs> this is like not being sure. This is like taking a step back because I feel like it's a focus like in the past. It's a focus on someone or a situation in your life. Right. Um, it's not that it's bad for you. I feel like the drive to prioritize it or focus on it or like your determination to follow it kind of drifted away. 
lack of motivation is what I'll call it. Um, and there was emotion, there's emotional confusion due to that, you know, due to that lack of drive or, um, this is also rethinking things, you or someone else in your life, rethinking things. Is this a good idea? Reassessment, you know, on, on where you're going or what's happening here in this energy. So it looks like something is open ended, meaning that you're not ready to shut it down. You're not ready to call it quits. Um, you're still in it. OK, that, that's what I'm seeing. It's like something is open ended and it's not closed. I feel as though something. Something was told to you or you found something out. Cause I feel like there's a sense of understanding, um, something that seemed very fast or rash or just out of the blue almost to you. Um, because you need to let it go. It's like the knowing that something is approaching you quickly that you must let go. You must move on from it. But there is a little piece of you that's still holding on to it. And that highlights this whole week in a way because you're working through fully letting something go or figuring out if you should or not. Um, yeah, especially with the Ace of Swords here, there is a confusion. It's like something came in really quick or there's a piece of knowledge that you know now. And it's like, OK, how do I integrate this? How do I start this? What's the next step here for me? What's interesting is if you're dealing with a person, OK, because some of you, I see a person here and they feel like in their attempt at freedom or releasing themselves from things that do not serve them, they made a mistake with you. You know, um, what it's coming up to me as, you know, how things are just uncomfortable in life and you're like, I need to take a step back from everything. You know, I need to deal with whatever this is. I feel like that's what this looks like with this person. Um, and them wanting to come back and you not clear if you should accept it. Because to you, words or finality mean something, right? Um, as far as a relationship goes. So for those of you who will meet someone, I feel like, I'm going to say this to you, Capricorn. I feel like an emotional connection is being established this week for you in one way or another. Um, whether this is you trying to find out what it is that you want to do in your career and your goal and like knowing exactly where you want to go now, like wholeheartedly, you're like, this is the best direction, right? Or this is a new love or a rekindlement of love. Because I feel like it's more of a rekindlement because with the world car here, it tells me that something isn't quite over or there's something that needs to be like summed up for you or for another person. So I see like some communication here, but you not being very clear on what the intentions are after feeling like something was said to you or something must be something had to be done quickly. So so it could go both ways work in love. Now I do see an offer coming your way, Capricorn. OK, um, but it feels to me like it's not quite. To the level that you need it to be. It's more like. I miss you. I miss our connection. Let's start over again. But I feel like emotionally you've sort of been. Drained by this situation. And it just seems to me like this week you are deciding that because a person is not 
as attentive to your vision that it's time to sort of let that go or move on from it in these cards. Okay. Let's see what else. Yeah. It's like seeing something that once was good for you or someone that once was good for you. Um, seeing it more clearly. You know, it's like you could start things over again. You could start something new. But you want to make sure that whoever you put in your life is not false. The thing that's interesting about this person is I do feel like whoever this is felt like they made a rash decision. Okay. Um, but I do, I get the feeling like it's going to last forever and this is it. No, but I do get the vibe that they want to make it right. Okay. Um, also career work. Um, this is like rescinding, re rescinding, like taking back an offer or, um, like moving on from something. Okay. Um, regaining independence in a lot of ways. And, and work. Okay, let me see what else we got. Okay, there's another energy in here about accepting your fate. I feel like you've accepted your fate, you know, and now you have someone coming in that's that's challenging what you have already accepted. Um, I do feel like there's a little piece of you that wants to try. And I do feel like you are, to <laughs> be completely honest. Uh, I feel like you will try because it's like, this is what I wanted to hear. This is what I wanted to see. Yeah, when it comes to work, Capricorn, this week, you're inspired to make a change. Um, I feel like it's a new journey that you're on in career and money. You're like, I want to try this new thing. You know, I want to go on this trip. I want to change this about my business. I want to change this about my career. I feel like you're more focused this week on the things that do work. Okay. Also, I'm getting like clear vision. Um, a clear vision. It's like you have this clear vision of something in your heart, what you want to do. It's interesting. It's less about following others or following some sort of grain or routine and doing basically what fits better for you. Um, it's like you have a clear vision, like, but it's it's heart driven, like you feel it, like you feel like this is what you should do. It feels it fits. It just clicks with you, you know? Okay. Money. Um, I feel like you're going to look at your money situation this week and be like, I need to stop frivolously spending. <laughs> That's what I see. Because I feel like you've been doing some emotional spending, but you'll stop this week. Um, it's like now that you've gotten kind of settled, you're going to stop doing that. A lot of you may not even have known that that's what you were doing, but that's what it looks like. Um, 
Also, I see someone getting a really impulsive offer from somebody that you work with to maybe go on a date or spark up a new friendship. I don't see it being bad, to be completely honest. But I do see that it doesn't quite get as deep as like a love relationship because of all the stuff that's going on. And I it could be that you are busy or they are busy and it just doesn't happen. Um, it's more like that. It's more like it doesn't happen because you both were busy. But, but no one's mad about it. No one's mad about it. I feel like they may try again later or something may happen later. Okay. All right, Capricorn. I love you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.